Yes, it's August, and it's time for that sport where grown men run around after a ball for 90 minutes and people can't stop throwing money at them. We all love it. This means that it's time for the new Pro Evolution Soccer. I'm Jack from Slashdot.Dashdot, and this is my Pro Evolution Soccer 2017 Demo First Impressions. So, I've played the hell out of the new demo. It does indeed feel like a, an improvement. As I said last year, yearly updates can often feel stale and sometimes even feel a step backwards, but Pro Evolution Soccer has steadily been improving since the jump to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Last year was the best entry in a long time. Um, it really took the fight back to EA with their, uh, their FIFA series. Uh, this demo... It feels like they've refined that formula too. It, it, it's ever so slightly tweaked. Um, so I'm going to take you through my pros and cons for Pro Evolution Soccer 2017 demo. Okay, to start off we'll talk about the corners. They're amazing. I couldn't even really score headers last year or even get a header, you know, when you cross the ball in uh, on, on last year's days. So... When I took this one on and I was, you know, taking the corners and we, I was managing to get a header on target, I couldn't believe it because I just couldn't do that last year. It always felt like the defenders were beating me to the ball and heading it clear last year or the keepers were coming out and claiming the ball before I even got anywhere near it with my attackers. Maybe last year I was just shite at corners. But at least on this year's uh, demo, at least so far, you can select a, a new route for your attackers. So there's four different options. You can send them to the six yard line. You can send them in a train formation. You can hit. You can send them back post, so far post cross. Uh, my favorite, which is the dash. So all the players go to the edge of the box and they dash in. I've had a lot of success with that one on getting headers on target. But I haven't scored that many, if any actually yet, but it's a lot better and it's it's definitely pleasing me. You select um, these routes with the D-pad before you take a corner. Um, you don't have to use them, but it's just an added option there. On the defensive side of corners, um, you can do a similar thing. You can make your defenders either zonal mark or man-to-man -man mark, or there's a mixed option between the two. It's nice to see these little improvements in the set piece department. It really adds to what is just a basic thing in, in the game. It gives you a little bit more um, tactics, a little bit more playability with those uh, set pieces. Free kicks on the other hand though, um, they, they feel like they've nerfed them from last year. So um, it, was a, it was kind of a surefire way of scoring last year. And I'm not sure, I wonder if people have maybe complained about this from the My Club matches where you where you go online and, and play other players. It was pretty much a guaranteed way of scoring if you have one of the players over level 85. Um, I did manage to hit the bar a couple of times in the demo and I scored one free kick. Um, so maybe I just need a, a little bit more practice with those. But to me, it, it feels like they've tried to make them more difficult to score. So back to, to the pros, and this one's going to be about crosses because they are fantastic as well. Um, they were on last year's demo. I remember saying this about last year's demo. And then they were horrendous in the main game for some reason. I don't know what they did in between um, the demo and, and the full launch. But yeah, they were really good in, in the demo last year, and then they weren't great in the main game. So hopefully um, they don't do that again because... They're really good in this demo. I want them to stay that way. I've scored a lot of goals with uh, Giroud from, from crosses. And I didn't really do an awful lot of that last year. So I, I want to see that because I like scoring headed goals. It's, it's one of my favourite ways of scoring. I briefly got to try out penalty kicks. And they seem pretty much the same as last year. Which is a bit of a disappointment. As I don't think they're that good on the game. Uh, you just hold the stick slightly to one side or the other and then click square and it doesn't ever quite seem to work how it's supposed to. 
I wish they'd go back to the old method that they did uh, a few years ago. That, that was a lot better. One big change that I've noticed is the goalkeepers. They are like gods. Uh, it's so hard to score against them from, from outside the box. Last year, you could, you know, with the top, top players, you could hammer in shots from about 30 yards. I uh, haven't really been able to do that quite yet. Um, the keepers tend to just swat the ball away from goal. Uh, I have found myself scoring more rebounded efforts or one-on-ones with the with the curling shot, which is R2 and square. Um, that was a big trick on last year's. But the keepers tend to save the shots more often than not, which is good and it makes it more difficult, but it could get annoying. So the rest of the game is pretty much the same as it was last year. Um, the passing and the pacing of the game is slightly more methodical. It's more, you've got to build up your passes to advance up the pitch rather than running with a single player like Messi or like um, Neymar. Uh, and they've been trying to go that way over the last few years, uh, it seems. But last year you could play with certain quick players by just running through everyone. Um, it's certainly in this demo, I haven't really been able to do that. I did it once with Messi, but it's more the way that you cut and turn with him rather than just flat out pace. The game looks brilliant again, and Konami have got a lot to thank Kojima Productions for in terms of the Fox engine. The face scans of the Barcelona players look ridiculously lifelike. And have you seen this ball? Look at it. It's damn near photorealistic. There's also an added sort of physics-based um, mechanic through the Fox engine this year. It was kind of there last year, but it didn't feel so realistic as it does now. And you'll notice that when you play, if players shoulder barge other players and, and you get the um, feedback through the DualShock controller, which is cool. Um, and you'll see the players, like their bodies, the animations of it's like really, really lifelike. And it, like I say, it kind of was last year, but it just feels refined again. Everything about this just feels refined from that brilliant entry from last year. Replays are also uh, a lot different in this year's uh, edition. Uh, before they used to come on and they'd be really slow and you'd have to like sort of swipe through it with the analog stick. Whereas this year they're really, really quick for some reason and you've got to slow it down with the, with the scrub through. Um, that's just a little change, I suppose. But also, there seems to be some sort of uh, cinematic filter on the replays. The colouring's definitely different from the main gameplay and the, the initial replay that comes on after a goal. Um, but once you click X and you go into the full theatre mode, it's definitely got some sort of filter on it, which looks really cool. I like it. And you'll notice as well in, in the replays, when you're slowing the gameplay down like, like I do here, you notice all the little things like the, the players' animations and when they're colliding together, like the physics, what I mentioned. And you see like little tufts of grass as well being kicked up when, when they shoot and stuff like that. There's all these little fine details that, uh, that really add to the experience. So the game launches in North America September 13th and in the EU and Japan September 15th. The demo is really exciting me and I can't wait for the full release. So you can download the demo now in on Xbox or on PlayStation. Uh, I'm not sure about PC, probably, um, but go and do that. Play it. Let us know what you think. Let us know in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like and share the video if you want to. And check us out on Twitch. We're streaming on there all the time. Thanks for watching.